and pick 12 artists to feature once a month throughout the year. So we are so happy that the first artist of 2020 is Eric McCracken. <laughs> Please help me welcome Eric McCracken. <laughs> Do you have anything uh, to tell us about your art or about anything? Um, yes. Um, thank you for all being here. Um, thank you everybody who helped me with the show. Um, I did all the drawings, but my partner helped me with all the frames and all the mounting. It took forever. Um, my buddy did help me. Lou helped me out a lot. Um, Brooke helped me out. Um, it's a huge effort to put on a show. I had no idea how much. It's my first show. Uh, I never showed my work before. I always keep my work hidden in, in my room, in the back of the closet. Uh, um, I always oh, like no. my work. I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just want to explain. I'm going to read from left to right. It's a story. It's a story progresses along. It's about growing up uh, gay, obviously, and accepting yourself rather than just living in self hatred. Um, the, the titles are uh, prose. It goes. It follows the story just a lot of the teenage years. Um, uh, self-acceptance and accepting who you are just the way you are. And um, it's meant to be positive. There's a lot of uh, uh, maybe anger and violence in the imagery, but it is meant to be positive. And there are meant to be humorous elements. Um, I work uh, early in the morning. I try to, I use humor to keep myself awake. Um, I don't always sleep enough, so I try to get this stuff done before work. Um, and yeah, hope you like it. So thank you. Well, Thanks. before we go, is are the pieces for sale? Oh, sorry, all the pieces are for sale. And um, there's some prints and uh, postcards which are a lot less expensive. We have an awesome merch table over there if you'd like to take one of the smaller pieces home. But also, feel free to buy one of the bigger pieces. All of the money that you spend on a piece of art tonight goes right to the artist. Uh, Strut doesn't keep any commission. Another reason we do this is to support queer artists like Eric McCracken. So uh, grab your wallets and your credit cards. Uh, what one more question. A lot of folks are asking me about the guns. Can you talk a little bit about the guns with the butts? <laughs> it's one of my favorite pieces, actually. It was meant to be funny. Um, I, uh, when I was in college, I grew up in London. I used to have my best buddy in Long Island. And her dad had a spare, they had a spare bedroom, which was full of guns in this rifle case. And I always hated guns, and I hated sleeping in that room. But this was just a reference to staying there. Uh, the guns coming out of the butts was just... Funny. I hate guns, I hate seeing them, I hate hearing about them, but I like drawing them, it gives me a feeling of control when I can draw something and it scares the hell out of me, but I can put it in my drawing and I kind of feel I have control over it. It just meant to be funny. Uh, sexual violence against an angelic image of a porn star. Um, Which porn star is that? Steve Kelso from... Oh, right. <laughs> All the models are porn stars from pictures, because it's much easier to find <coughs> naked pictures of porn stars than anybody else. Uh, <laughs> uh, the young people are all me as a teenager, but the models are all porn stars, just because it's easy to find yeah. out. Is there anyone else you'd like to thank before the end of the night? Uh, mostly my partner, Louis, for helping me in group. Um, thanks for everybody helping me. Very kind. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's give Eric a big round of applause. Thank you so much for being your art here. I hope you sell a lot of movies. All right, all right, everybody, we're going to keep partying. We're going to turn the music up. We still have wine. Please hang out and talk to Eric uh, after the speeches. Thank you for coming.